راقت نفسي بنور من فؤادي حينما رددت يا رب العباد My dear respected brothers, there is a beautiful story that I want to share with you. And I'm sure, yani, I'm sure most of you have heard this story is mentioned in al Israeliyat. It was made famous by no other than uh, made famous by no other than Sheikh Yusuf Estes. And the story has it that uh, Jesus, Isa alayhi salatu was salam, was traveling with his companions. He was traveling with his companions. So they got hungry. So they collected some money and he gave some money to one of his companions. And he says to the companion, he says to him, go into the town and buy us some food. So this companion grabs the money, goes into town and all that the money could buy was three loaves of bread. But his hunger was so much so that he couldn't wait to get back. So he smashed one of the loaves came back with two. So when he comes back to Isa alayhi salatu wasalam, Jesus says to him, he says to him, who ate the third loaf? The man to his utter shock system, but there was only two. So he didn't want to argue with the man. They traveled. After some time, they were successful in hunting a deer. They hunted the deer, they killed it, they cooked it, they ate it. And as they sat around this carcass, as they sat around whatever was left of it, which was basically bones, Isa alayhi salatu was salam, he asks Allah and by Allah, through Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he gave life back to the deer and the deer came back to life and ran away. And this happened in front of them. So he turns to the man and says, I'm asking you by the one who gave life to this deer, who ate that third loaf? The man insisted, he says, but there was only two. So he didn't argue and they continued. As they traveled, they came to what was a flooded river, a river that they had to cross. So they get to the flooded river and Isa alayhi salatu wasalam, he asks his companions, he says, let's all gather and we'll all hold hands. And he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and by the qudra of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he allowed them to walk on the surface of the river. Then they get to the other side. And this was a miracle. So he turns to the man and he says, I'm asking you by the one that allowed us to walk on the face of this river. Who ate that third loaf? The man insisting says, but there was only two. They continued on. After they reached, they reached a particular area. Isa alayhi salatu wasalam, he sits down. And he collects three piles of dirt. Three piles of dirt. And then through Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he, he turns the dirt into gold. So he says to the man, he says to him, one pile is for you. One pile is for me. And that third pile is for the one that ate the third loaf of bread. So the man immediately jumps and said, I ate it. He said, he said, I ate it. He says to him, then you take all three, but you can no longer accompany us anymore. This is where our journey ends. So the man, yani, now overtaken by his new fortune, couldn't care less. So he sits back and is looking at his new found fortune. Not long after, three thieves, three, three thieves came. They see the man with the gold and the first thing that came was they killed the man gold three of us there's one of him so they killed the man but they were hungry too so they spoke amongst one another and one of them said listen I'll go into town and I'll grab some food the other agrees the other two agreed so the man took off heading in towards town and he's planning against the other two the other two said this is a perfect opportunity to plan against him So he says, I'll go into town, I'll buy some food and I'll poison it. The other two said, look, on his return, we'll kill him and we'll split his share in half. 
So the man goes into town, buys the food, poisons the food. On his return, before he could do anything, they killed him. They sat to eat their food and soon after they both died. Some time passed and then Isa alayhi salatu was salam, walking along with his companions walks back and sees all four men laying on the ground. Their former companion and the three thieves and the three piles of gold were left untouched. So he turns to his companions and he says to them, this is the life of this world. 